Today, we're going to talk about an imminent event that could become Judgment Day for the West's entire tech strategy against China. Tomorrow on August 12th, what seems like a simple business announcement will come out of Shanghai. Chinese tech giant Huawei, at a forum on financial AI, is set to release what could be a game-changing AI inference technology. However, this is far more than a new product launch. For anyone studying geopolitics and the global power shift, this is more like a battle report being delivered to policymakers in Washington. It will answer with hard facts a question many of us have had for a long time. Is the tech iron curtain, built at enormous expense and through the coercion of allies, truly made of steel? Or has the adversary already found its fatal cracks? In today's analysis, we'll dive deep into why the technology Huawei is about to showcase isn't just a breakthrough on a single choke point component, but a subversive challenge to the entire logic of Western hegemony. First, let's understand the heart of this contest, HBM or high bandwidth memory. For viewers unfamiliar with the tech, you can think of it as the aorta that sustains large AI models. Modern AI, especially large language models like ChatGPT, is fundamentally about the insane processing of massive parameters. If data transfer speeds can't keep up, the AI's performance is severely throttled. It's like having a top-tier Formula One driver stuck in congested city streets. The world's most powerful engine is useless. HBM is the very foundation of this data superhighway. And for that exact reason, it became the perfect weapon in the West's, and particularly America's, tech containment strategy against China. It has all the characteristics of an ideal choke point. Its supply chain is highly concentrated, with over 90% of the global market share locked down by three giants. South Korea's SK Hynix and Samsung Electronics, and America's Micron Technology. All three of these companies exist within America's alliance system. This allows Washington to easily use political pressure to coordinate and control the global supply, achieving a precision strike against China's AI industry. We have to confront the hypocrisy of this behavior. For decades, the United States preached free markets and a rules-based international order to the world but the prerequisite was always that these rules would guarantee its own absolute advantage. The moment globalization empowered a competitor, so-called rules were abandoned overnight, replaced by naked power politics. We watched with our own eyes as U.S. officials openly pressured the Dutch and Japanese governments, forcing them to damage the interests of their own national champions, like ASML, to serve America's strategic anxiety. This isn't just a trampling of allied sovereignty, it's the greatest mockery of the spirit of free trade. The deeper strategy is this. By creating this controlled scarcity, the U.S. not only limits the supply of technology, but also wages a hidden economic war of attrition. We've seen spot prices for HBM3 chips skyrocket by more than 300% in the last year. This is not a simple market imbalance. It's a manufactured cost barrier. It is a blatant scheme by a hegemon, using its control over the global supply chain to economically strangle a competitor's capacity for innovation. It forces Chinese AI companies to pour astronomical funds into expensive hardware procurement, thereby reducing their investment in core algorithms and application development. This is a war of attrition designed to drain the lifeblood from the system. The destructive nature of this beggar thy neighbor, hegemonic logic is indiscriminate. The recent U.S. move to impose 100% tariffs on chips from multiple countries is the clearest evidence. This is no longer a precision strike, it's hysterical trade bullying. The irony is that one of the first to be hit by these tariffs was the Philippines, a key U.S. ally in Asia. This is not an isolated incident. It's the new normal of American neo-hegemonism. Its so-called friendshoring and de-risking are, in essence, a form of protectionism that demands the entire world pay the price for its strategic anxiety. The message it sends to the world is clear. You either submit to me completely, or you could be the next target. And even if you choose to submit, your economic interests must take a back seat to my political needs. This strategy, far from building reliable partnerships, is fostering global distrust and incentivizing every nation, including our closest allies, to find a plan B to escape the influence of this volatile and self-serving power. This is the essential background for understanding Huawei's move. In a hostile and uncertain external environment, any entity with foresight has only one option left, achieve autonomy at any cost. 
What Huawei is about to demonstrate is the most direct and profound response to this geopolitical pressure. This is not a simple business competition. It's an act of asymmetric warfare, using technological innovation to fight a geopolitical blockade. So what magic is Huawei preparing to unveil to solve the HBM deadlock? According to multiple sources, its technical solution perfectly validates a deep insight from its founder, Run Zhengfei. He once stated frankly, in a single chip, Huawei is still behind the United States. But we use mathematics to make up for physics and systems engineering to make up for a single chip. This statement reveals a development philosophy entirely different from the Western mainstream. For decades, the Western tech world has been dominated by the thinking of Moore's law, the pursuit of ultimate single chip performance by continuously shrinking transistor size. This is a vertical development path dependent on capital and pushing the limits of physics, akin to constantly building a supercar with an ever more powerful engine. This success has also led to a kind of intellectual rigidity, a poverty of strategic imagination. We became so focused on perfecting our supercar that we couldn't imagine someone would forge a new path and build an entirely new high-speed rail network. Huawei's solution pioneers a new horizontal development path for the post moores Law era. It no longer obsesses over the speed of a single supercar, but is dedicated to building a more efficient, intelligent transport network. A single chip is a car. Huawei's innovation is that it chose not to build the world's fastest supercar. Instead, it is connecting hundreds or thousands of ordinary cars through an ultra-high-speed network and a highly intelligent scheduling system, forming a vast high-speed rail system. While each individual car in the system isn't the fastest, the operational efficiency and data throughput of the entire rail network can match or even surpass that of a single supercar. This is a systemic, paradigm-shifting, architectural takedown. It bypasses the reliance on the ultimate performance of a single component, fundamentally alleviating the congestion on the HBM aorta. Huawei's past achievements prove the viability of this path. Its Cloud Matrix 384 Supernode has already demonstrated superior system performance in actual AI model deployment, and its EMS Elastic Memory Storage Service, through technical innovation, successfully reduced the number of NPUs required to deploy the Panga 5.0 model by 50%. This all indicates that Huawei isn't just improvising. It has been cultivating this systems warfare path for many years. And the choice of venue for this announcement is heavy with meaning. Why would Huawei release such a crucial technology at a financial AI inference forum? Because the finance industry is the ultimate proving ground for AI applications. Its demands for real-time performance, stability, and security are the most stringent of any industry. If a technology can be validated and deployed at scale in this domain, it has proven itself to possess world-class reliability. This is also an incredibly strong strategic signal sent directly to Washington and Wall Street. We all know the two pillars of American hegemony, technology and the dollar. By demonstrating that its AI system, independent of Western technology, can run successfully in finance, the core domain of American power, Huawei is effectively declaring to the world. We are building a fully autonomous digital infrastructure, sufficient to support the core operations of a modern economy. This is not just a commercial challenge to NVIDIA and SK Hynix. It is a potential foundational challenge that pulls the rug out from under the Western financial hegemony dominated by the dollar and the SWIFT system. It provides the technical possibility for a more diversified global financial clearing system in the future. Tomorrow's announcement will be a litmus test. It will test whether a nation, under extreme pressure, can break its technological shackles by changing its innovation paradigm. It will also prove to the world whether, in the technological competition of the 21st century, blockades and containment are effective weapons, or simply a catalyst for more powerful and more disruptive innovation. Let's wait and see how this technological signal flare from the East tears an irreversible hole in the West's tech iron curtain.